So now there's some recent rumors going around that the iPhone 12 won't include a 120 driver. And what this driver does is it gives the phone the ability to do 120 hertz refresh rate on the screen. And they're saying this driver won't be included in any of the models for the iPhone 12, including the Pro model. So that effectively says that the iPhone 12, no matter what model you purchase, won't be doing 120 hertz refresh rate. Now that's not saying anything about 90 hertz. They didn't say anything in the rumors of whether it would do 90 hertz refresh rate or not. So that may still be on the table, even though I'm kinda in the camp that Apple's going to go all in on the iPhone 13 with a slight redesign, 120 hertz refresh rate and 5G, and kinda just do an incremental upgrade with its iPhone 12. Is 120 hertz refresh rate necessary on a mobile device? Do we need a high refresh rate on these mobile screens? It's become interesting to me because the high refresh rate thing seems to be like the new buzzword of the mobile device. Before it was how many megapixels your camera had and then it became how many cameras you can actually stick on a device itself. The more cameras equals a better device. Now the buzz seems to be around the overall refresh rate of the screen itself. And when you dig into it, what the heck is 120 hertz refresh rate anyway? What's the benefit of it? So basically 120 hertz simply just means that the image refreshes 120 times per second on the screen. And what this does is it basically gives you the effect of a more realistic motion on the screen itself. It's almost like a fluid, more smoother motion when you're going either scrolling or playing a game or sometimes watching a movie if it's configured specifically for for a higher refresh rate. And that brings up yet another question is, do we need a more realistic motion on mobile devices? And the answer really is no. I don't believe that the average consumer is gonna care or need a high refresh rate on their mobile devices, not just yet anyway. And in fact, if you really think about it, a high refresh rate on a mobile device that a customer is not using can actually lessen the experience for them because this is gonna eat up a lot more battery than a normal 60 hertz refresh rate screen would. So a high refresh rate is good if you're going to use it. If you're not going to use it, it just ends up killing your battery, especially if there's no option to shut it off. So the bottom line really is that you don't really need it, but and this is a big but for me, I believe that any phone that's coming out in 2020 that's over $800 should at least include the option for this. Now bear with me here, I'm just gonna go on a little tangent and say that we're already spending so much money on these devices. And if you're buying a high-end mobile device, you're looking for a high-end mobile experience. And even though right now, 120 Hertz doesn't really matter that much, as this technology is incorporated more and more into different mobile devices and different companies kind of own this and put it on their devices, you're going to see more applications, more games, and even just more media in general kind of embrace this technology and start making tailor-made experience for people using this 120 hertz or just a higher refresh rate on their mobile screens. And ironically, what that does is it makes these really expensive devices that we're purchasing right now, phones like the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 that was released recently or may not even be out on the market yet is only rocking a 60 hertz refresh rate those phones will not be future proofed not if you want the high level experience that you're looking for anyway and that's going to lead to people having to upgrade their phones a lot sooner than they normally would to get this user experience that they're looking for so you're going to end up spending more money for something that should have been included in a phone that was released recently and in my mind there's a lot to be said about industry standards as well and for me industry standards is a company giving you the ability for a person purchasing their device to experience something close to or the same as the rest of the industry is getting and right now the industry is leading towards a higher refresh rate on their screens and you really got to think about it with mobile gaming on the rise i mean it's just going way up and these mobile devices basically becoming the media hubs that they are for us not to mention again how buttery smooth and just how perfectly realistic it is to scroll using a high refresh rate screen really if you haven't experienced scrolling through your phone on a high refresh rate even just scrolling through social media with a high refresh rate screen it's actually kind of a thing of beauty it makes you just want to look at your screen a lot longer probably killing your battery a little bit more but it's just a better overall experience for the phone itself if you couple all that together i really just think that a high refresh rate should be the staple for 
any high-end phone that's coming out in 2020 that's gonna ask for you to pay more than $800 for it. That's a lot of money. And I can already hear the arguments, trust me, I already know that users would most likely like overall increase in performance, a better battery life, or just a better camera before a higher refresh rate on the screen because really it doesn't matter currently. But I actually have a really convincing argument that rebuts that and it's well thought out and it's scientific and it's simply why can't we have all that stuff and a higher refresh rate on our screens as well. I mean, they're asking us to pay so much for these devices already. Why omit anything at all? Just kind of throw it in there and give us that great user experience that we are looking for and kind of future proof our devices so we don't have to spend another thousand dollars in another six months or a year. But I really do want to pass the question off to you guys. Is a high refresh rate or 120 hertz screen really necessary? Is that a deal breaker for you nowadays paying over $800 for a phone? Are you looking for that? Or are you looking for another characteristics of a phone in general? Is other things more important for you? Comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about this subject. And while you're down there, you know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button because it lets YouTube know that this was an informative, good video. And hitting that subscribe button lets us know that this was a good video. With that bell for notification, that bell's actually pretty important because it's the only way you guys are going to know when we release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys. You can check out some of the other videos we've done on the channel. I'm going to make sure to list them there. And as always, guys, make sure to stay safe. And until I see you next time, peace out.